Keane's company sees James Keane um, plucked from his regiment, from the Inniskilling Fusiliers. Uh, he doesn't know why. He discovers very quickly why. He has been put on to Wellington's staff. He can't understand that. Uh, he's instantly dismissed from Wellington's staff uh, at the same time and is given command of a very strange unit, uh, something that no one's ever seen before, um, called Intelligences. Um, it's a... It's based on truth. It's based on the core of guides established by George Scavell. And it, he becomes one of a number of exploring officers who go out into the field behind, behind enemy lines to bring back intelligence to Wellington, because Wellington is aware that he can't do anything in Spain without the proper intelligence and the knowledge that he needs. Um, so he establishes this, this system of guides and scouts and exploring officers, and that's what Keane does. He is given... Um, command of uh, a bunch of rogues. Well, he's told he needs men under his command, about a dozen of them, uh, who will be useful to him. And uh, his superior officer, um, based on truth, Calhoun Grant, suggests he might take them from the prisons of Lisbon, uh, because these men all have skills. I mean, these are felons in the British Army, as we know, a lot of the British Army perpetually in prison in, in the peninsula for drunkenness uh, and even murder. Uh, and those they didn't hang or flog lay in the prisons, but Keane, Keane goes in there and he takes out uh, about a dozen men eventually, and uh, takes them beyond the enemy lines and uses, exploits their skills as much as he possibly can. That's his company.